probably shouldn't even be talking about this, but today I'm going to teach you something that I've never told anyone before. Something that a lot of people don't want me to teach you. Something that got me in a lot of trouble if my real identity came out. Hold that thought. Where was I? So let's just jump into this before anyone finds out about this. What's up, my friends? <coughs> What's up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. As you probably know by now, today I'm going to teach you how to add and track uh, a blur or a mosaic to a face in a video. Now, very convenient if you want to stay anonymous in your videos or if you're interviewing uh, criminals, I guess. We will be working in After Effects today, so let's just jump into it. All right, so we're in uh, After Effects. I have a clip right here. It's from the intro of this video that you're watching right now. So you've already seen the finished footage, what we're going for today. Um, so yeah, I have our clip right here. I'm just going to add an adjustment layer on top of this uh, with a lumetri color effect because I just want to go into the curves and make this a little bit nicer to look at while we're doing this. Just a little bit nicer than the flat colors. I'm just going to select these two, right click and hit pre-compose. Uh, move all attributes into new composition, just call this main video there we go now I'm gonna go to the middle somewhere of this video around here maybe going up to the ellipse tool and with this layer selected I'm just gonna create a little mask around my face something like that then go over to the right side over here, find your tracker window. Now when you first go into this window, uh, I'm pretty sure the default setting is going to be position, scale, and rotation. But you want to change this to face tracking outline only. And since we're in the middle of uh, the clip right here, I'm just going to go and analyze this to the left first. And as you can see, it's already finding my face and it's tracking it and creating keyframes for every frame of the clip. Depending on the length of your, of your clip, this might take some time, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's jump back to where we started and start tracking to the right instead. So we get the full video tracked. Now, this result might vary a little bit depending on how well your face is lit and how confusing your background is. But, uh, I mean, After Effects is getting better and better at this all the time, so... It should work fine. Just one more second to go. Come on. This is good content right here. Alright, so After Effects finished tracking my face. As you can see, this is... <laughs> this is another funny video you can make. But uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go down to the mask down here. And hit None instead of Add, so we can get the whole full picture. We're gonna go to the beginning of the timeline and create a new adjustment layer. We wanna select our mask, copy it, and paste it onto the adjustment layer. Hit M twice to get the mask properties and change none to add on the adjustment layer. Now let's go up to effects and presets. We'll search for mosaic. There we go, put that onto our adjustment layer. And as you can see, my face is blurred out. Uh, these blocks are a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna change this to maybe like 45 and 45. Not bad. Go down to the masks down here. I'll up the feather to maybe 50. And I'm also gonna expand the mask a little bit so it covers more of my face. Maybe around 50 there too. I think that looks pretty nice. So let's play this back, see how it looks.
perfect. It's as easy as that. Now, of course, you don't have to use the mosaic uh, effect. You can, you know, turn that off. Maybe just go for a good old fast box blur. Turn that up. It looks all right too. I do prefer the mosaic, but it's just me. I just turn the mosaic back on again. It looks a lot nicer. This video is now good to go. Now, one more thing that I can show you, because as you noticed in the beginning of my video, I also uh, changed my voice in Premiere Pro. So what I did is on the audio, I added a pitch effect. If you search for pitch in the effects window, this pitch shifter is gonna pop up. You'll drag that on top of your, uh, your uh, audio. Uh, in the effect controls window, just scroll down to the uh, uh, um, pitch shifter, you hit edit. And what I did is I just dragged the semitones down, minus five. And that's where I got this deep. A strange voice. To sort of sell the effect a little bit more. And that's it for this video. Uh, I really hope you like this. Uh, give me a, a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more videos. And uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.